uh, mangaral o magtul sa loob ng iglesia. So does the scriptures allow or permit a woman to preach? No. Uh, tayo po ay uh, pick up sa chapter uh, 14 ng unang Korinto. Hayaan niyo pong basahin ko po ito sa wikang Banyaga o sa wikang English. Sa verse 33, For God is not a God of confusion, but peace as in all the churches of the saints. So may binanggit dito all the churches, plural, universal. Let the woman keep silent in the churches. So plural na naman yun. For they are not permitted to speak, but let them subject themselves, just as the law also says. And if they desire to learn anything, let them ask their own husband at home. For it is improper for a woman to speak in the church local. So balikan natin yung salita do sa verse 14. Let the woman keep silent in the churches for they are not permitted o allow. So the word permitted sa verse 34 uh, desire to do, no? Yung salitang permit o this uh, <coughs> or to teach to rule ang babae sa church. At pansin, pinansin, pinapansin ko po yung charges, so yung universal principle and then the local principle. So, yun po ay maniwanag. Laro po yun, no lack of clarity. Makikita natin yung consistent nung uh, letter o nung context, no? What the Bible says, no? Kaya ang wika sa verse 35, And if they desire to learn anything, let them ask their own husband, not all men, but own husband at home. For it is improper for a woman to speak in the church local. Okay? So universal and local principles ipinapahayag ni Apostol Pablo yung salitang improper sa isang babae sa pinagmulang salita na gagamitin po natin sa, sa salitang grego po, yan po ay eskros, eskros po. Ang ibig sabihin po, disgraceful, disgraceful po. Yung salitang improper, disgraceful, sa Titus chapter 1 verse 11 ang sabi ron shameful shameful okay same root word same root word yung salitang improper disgraceful shameful sa chapter 5 ng Epeso chapter 4 na uh, chapter 5 verse 4 sa wikang English ang filthiness filthiness same word ang ibig sabihin yung shameful, shameful gain, doing to do for making money. Yan yung mga practice na mga false profit, no? Profit, no po? Sa ibang salita yan, sorbid gain. Sorbid gain, no? Sa chapter uh, na pinag-pick up natin, 14, verse 34 and 35. So, kaya ang wika ni Paul, the woman keeps silent. The woman keeps silent. They are not permitted to speak in the church. Singular, sa verse 35. Tama? Sa verse 34, churches, universal. In always and everywhere. Palagi at sa iba't ibang, o saan bang dako. So, binigay sa atin ni Paul. Paul give us principle this way, universal and local. Kaya sabi niya, which I teach you in every church. 
Let us read 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 and 17. 1 Corinthians chapter, uh, four, uh, chapter 4, 16 and 17. Ito po ang pahayag, no? Pasensya na po kayo at medyo 4, ano? 6, 16, 17. I exhort you, therefore, be imitators of me. Ang wika ni Paul kay Timothy. Bakit po? For this reason, I have sent to you Timothy, who is my beloved and faithful child in the Lord, and he will remind you of my ways, binanggitin, of my way, which are in Christ, just I teach every, ano? everywhere and every church. So do natin hinango yun, yung salitang in always and every word. No? So yun po ang ibig sabihin. No? This is a divine doctrine. Ano? Ito po ay divine doctrine, the true doctrine of the gospel. Sa 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 17. Ganito po ang ating mababasa. Only as the Lord has assigned to each one as God has called it in this manner. Let him walk and those I direct in all the churches. Universal naman to. Ano po? So tuli-tuli po tayo. Nililinaw ni Paul yung principles dito. No? So Paul said, I direct in all churches, plural, same doctrine. Ano po? Same doctrine. He's setting, us, setting up the same exact standard. Ano po? Hindi po nagbabago. Consistent. No? Klaro. Walang lack of clarity. 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Same book. Ano po? Verse, uh, ano? Verse 15. 11, 15. Ang wika po that, dito. But if a woman has long hair, it is glory for to her. Ito anya ay kalawalatian sa isang babae. For the hair is given to her for a covering. No? 16. But if one is inclined to be contentious, we have no other practice, nor have the churches of God. So the same doctrine, ano po? The same doctrine. Liliwanag po dito. Ah, hindi anya, mahalay anya sa isang babae. Ang, uh, ano, I'm sorry, ah, Uh, kailangan sa isang babae, mababuog. Sabagat ito ay kaluwa natin sa kanyang ibinigay ng Diyos. Ano po? So, uh, ito po ay patuloy nating nilinawin. Ano po? Meaning, all women be submissive in all churches. Ano po? Lagi silang magpapasakop. Always silang lagi at palagi sa iba't ibang dakuman ng churches. Kailangan i-demonstrate mo yung sub Admission manifestly to your husband. Kaya ginabi ng ito sa 1 Corinthians, at home. At home. Ano po? Kaya niliwanag din sa 1 Corinthians chapter 11, what he looks like. Ito yung binabanggit dito, yung cultural submission. This is universal behavior and universal doctrine to all churches. Woman, maintain your no, maintain to your husband as the Lord. Sabi rito po, submission of woman all time sa lahat ng panahon. Kaya makikita natin dito, nabanggit ko nga po, consistent, no other practice. This is a standard. No? Ito yung true doctrine of the gospel. Kaya sabi rin sa 1 Corinthians chapter 14.34, woman keep silent in the churches. If not disgraceful, shameful, and not permitted to speak. Ngayon, bakit po natin tinatalakay sa panahon natin ngayon? This is very important issue. Saka subject in our day in the religious world. Kasi makikita po natin uh, sa evangelical movement, eh, inaalaw po nila yung pagtuturo ng babae sa mga churches. 
ano po. Eh, he, he, sabi nga ni Paul, disgraceful, mahalay, tignan. Ano po. Kaya minsan, iniisip ko nga, bakit, bakit totoo bang naniniwala sila sa, sa scriptures? Ama? At kung totoo nga, eh bakit nga inaalaw nila? No? So siguro ito, ito rin po ay isang blasphemy doon sa Holy Spirit. No? Tapagat si Paul ay uh, inspired by the Holy Spirit. No? So yan po ang dahilan kung bakit natin tinatalaki yan. Sapagat marami na pong lumalagana sa religious world na makikita natin babae talaga ang nagtutubo. At ito po ang isa pa na gusto ko pong ibahagi sa inyo. Isa pong survey noong 2018, 80% of Americans are comfortable female pastors. Eh grabe po yan, di ba? 40% evangelical, evangelical movement are fine. Okay sa kanila. And 62% practicing Practicing Christian led by woman pastors. Ang laki po ng porsyento eh, di ba? So ito po ay, ito po ay parang kang green ang kumakalat na. So 25% ang masakit, faculty woman in Bible seminary sa Amerika. Pinatatakbo ng mga babae. At 20%, Woman pastors, training pastor. Sila na rin, sila, yung mga babae nito, ang nagtitrain naman ng mga lalaking pastor at mga babaeng pastor. Kaya po natin pinag-aaralan to at kaya natin tinatakal itong issue na po ito at subject po na ating pong tinatalakay. Very obvious po yung rebellion of a woman pastors. Napaka-obvious eh. Ano po? Kitang-kita po natin yan. Kaya disgraceful and shameful. Ngayon, ang tanong natin, puntahan natin yung Genesis. no? So alam natin, sa chapter 3, verse 15 and 16, yung background, bakit ipinag... nagbigay ng provision o divine provision regarding sa pangunguna ng babae. Pupunta po tayo dun eh, di ba? So dumating yung sumpa dun sa Pauling word, no? If under the protection of Adam, alam natin yan, ano? But she was deceived. Ano po? She was deceived. Kaya pumasok yung sumpa, pain labor in childbirth is universal. Kaya kung tatanungin po natin yung ating mga mahal sa buhay, yung mga nanay, eh talaga pong yung curse ay universal. Ano po? Yung curse ay universal. Meron, tum- meron po tayong point doon, kaya pinupunta natin yung principles ng local and universal. Ama, kaya ang sabi ng Diyos sa kanya, your desire was in your husband. Anong sabi ng Panginoon kay Eve? Yung desire mo ay nasa iyong asawa. Sapagkat ang kasalanan, sin desiring to have you dominate, ano? Your husband. Pinangunahan nga ni, no? ni Eva si Adan. Hindi sa hindi siya nag, nag, nagpasakop sa kanyang asawa. Di ba? Hindi po ito yung ano eh. Hindi po ito yung tinatawag na yung desire or not sexual desire. Why? Yung sexual attraction, hindi po. Kasi before the fall, sexual desire is ano already in them. Ibinigay sa kanila yun. Kaya sabi sa kanila, be fruitful and multiply. So ang pinag-uusapan dito, yung simple desire na ang sabi sa kanya, ano sabi? Uh, magpapasakot pa sa iyong asawa. Your desire was in your husband. Yung simple desire ng babae, sorry, sorry, ni Eva to control, dominate your husband. The woman wants yun po ang gusto ng babae. No? Meaning, meron silang dominating power to overthrow the authority of men. Yan po ay kasaysayan. Eh. Kaya nauulit po. Eh. Makikita natin sa panahon natin. Kaya napakahalaga po. Eh, di ba? 
Kaya doon sa chapter, chapter 4 ng, ng Genesis, verse 7, sabi rin, you will, you will master it to overthrow the authority of male leadership in the church. Nangyayari na po yan eh. Di ba po? Sa 1 Corinthians, babalikan natin dito. Ang pinag-usapan natin doon sa pinikap natin, 1 Corinthians 14.34, authority and submission. Meron pong subject dyan doon sa authority and submission. Very, very important po yan. Ano po? Okay. Kaya sabi ron, keep silent. Do not say anything is from the Apostle Paul. Absolute provision siya ni. Yan po ay utos na ibinigay ng Holy Spirit. Ano po? Kaya minsan sabi ko nga, blasphemy yan eh. Kanina nabanggit ko yung Obvious yung pagiging rebellion ng mga babae niya na nangunguna sa loob ng church. So let us look Titus chapter 2, verse 3 and 5. Titus verse 2, chapter 2, verse ano? 3 and 5. Okay. Okay. Older women likewise are to be reverent in their behavior, not malicious gossip, nor enslaved to much wine, teaching what is good. Verse 4, that they may encourage the young woman to love their husband, to love their children. Be sensible, fewer worker at home. Wow, dito inire-raise ni, ni Paul yung role ng woman. Ano po, working at home. Tinalakay ko rin po yan kasi marami mga babae nasa abroad. Ano po? Ano? Nung panahon natin, alam natin yan, Brother Nico and Darwin, ang babae nasa bahay lang. Tama? Okay? So nakikita natin yung kultura nagbabago. Ano, po? ano sabi? Being kind, subject, Subject to your own husband that the word of God may not be dishonored. Yan ang ituturo ng babae. Pinapayagan silang magturo sa mga batang babae na ibigin magpasakop sa kanilang mga asawa. Nakita natin yung principle. Yung, uh, yung standard permis lang eh. Di ba? Kaya lang, <laughs> hindi na sa bahay. <laughs> ang nangyayari pati yung church gusto na nila pa gusto na nila ng uh, uh, i-control i-control natin nga yung dominating uh, power nila okay so let us go on kaya binasa natin yung tip so woman can teach to younger woman what they teach ano ituturo nila sa mga younger woman love your husband kind working at home the necessity of home kaya nga mahirap eh, di ba? Pagka pareho nagtatrabaho, may iwan yung bata, may hawak yung gadgets. Anyway, nagsa-side trip lang ako. So, let us proceed. So, turuan ng mga bata how to handle the Word of God. How to handle the Word of God. Kanina yung utos yun. Sa woman. Okay? Kaya nga, puro sa bahay. <laughs> di ba? Sa, sa, sa mga babaeng bata na may asawa, turuan mo. Kaya pinatalakay din po natin yan. Kaya ang sabi rito, sa salitang, hold yourself, <laughs> hold yourself woman, subject yourself just as the law sa 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 34. Just as the law. Kung ano ang sinasabi ng batas. Ano po? Meaning, ang ibig sabihin, get yourself under control under control ng men ng iyong husband. Woman pastor says, sinasabi nila, Paul is not Jesus. Jesus permit me to preach. What? <laughs> Yun yung kanilang alibay o palusok, kung tawagin natin yan. So there is tendency through your simple heart to overthrow the leadership of men in the churches. In the church and in the churches po. Brother Nelson, kaya maliwana kailangan talakayin natin yung authority and submission. Kasi ito po ay God's design for happiness and salvation. 
para maiwasan natin yung alam na natin yun. Ano po? Sa 1 Corinthians chapter 14, ang sabi rito, uh, babalikan natin yung context, 14 verse 21, ang sabi po, In the law, it is written by men of strange tongue and by the lips of strangers, I will speak to these people and even so they will not listen to me, says the Lord. Ano sabi? In the law, it is written by men of strange tongue. So lalaki po eh, ang pinapayagan ng Diyos eh. Malinaw po yun eh, di ba? Sa Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11. Ano po? Basahin po natin yan. Ano po ang sabi dyan? Isaiah, ano? Verse 28. Verse 20, ah, chapter 28. 28 verse 11. Kaya saan po kayo? Nagmamadali ako. Kasi 45 minutes lang po ako. 11. Indeed, he will speak to his people through sh- ano? shimmering lips and foreign tongues. Ang sabi dito, woman to Adam's helper. Ano? Ang babae ay kaagapay o help meet nino ng lalaki. Yun ang role niya eh. Kung babalikan natin yung creation eh, di ba? Yung paglalang ng Diyos sa babae. Ilala lang kita ng katu- kaagapay mo. Ayaw kung sal- gamitin sa salitang katulong eh. Sa Pilipino, hindi magandang magandang. Help meet kaagapay sa ibang saling tagalog. Kaya nga, it created to be helper, not leader. Tama po? Maliwanag po yun eh. Maliwanag po yun eh. No male, kaya bakit po natin binanggit yun? No male prophets. Alam natin. No male, no, no, no female prophets, no female priests doing prophetic work. Wala po yun eh. Eh, baka ang sabi naman ng isang pastora sa akin, si, ano, Roy, si Judge Deborah. Pero si Judge Deborah, kinuha niya si Barak to lead the troops for, for the battle. Hindi siya ang nanguna eh. Kinuha niya si, no, si Barak diba? to lead the troops for the battle. No woman writer. Oh, no woman writes scriptures. Eh, pwede naman si Miriam in the musical event in the Bible. Doon sa musika pwede po siya. Pero doon sa pag, pangunguna o leadership of men, sa church, hindi po pwede. Okay? Ngayon, tignan natin, God denounced the woman, rebellion. Okay? Bakit denounced? Kasi nag-rebel siya eh. Okay, sa aklat ng Isaiah, chapter 3, verse, ano yan? Verse 16. Moreover, the Lord said, because the daughters of Zion are proud. What? The daughters of Zion, women, and walk with heads held high and seductive eyes. And go along with ano, mincing steps. Yung pakembot-kembot. Ano po? And tinkle and the bangles of their feet. So ito po ay ipinapakita dito yung uh, papaanong nagpapalalo yung mga babae nung panahon sa Old Testament. Kaya nga, ayaw ng Diyos nun eh. God denounced the woman rebellion instead of humbling to her husband. First Peter, natatandaan ninyo, hindi anya sa mga mamahaling alahas, braided hair, di ba? kundi sa pusong natatago. Okay? Yung pong internal, internal beauty of a woman. So, binigyan lang po natin ng background yun. Meaning, kaya natin binasa ito, pinapakita kapag kami sa ng mga bae, trying to attention to themselves. E, totoo naman po yun. Talagang uh, ginagawa po ng babae yun. Eh. Hindi naman po masama yun eh, di ba? Hindi po masama yun. Kaya lang, kapag kami saan lumalabis eh, no? Meaning, offering an, ano? Offering an opening to criticism. Yun ang ibig sabihin doon. 
men will become weak in our world today. Yan po ang consequences niya ni. Eh. Humihina ang lalaki sa pangunguna sa mga churches. Ganun din sa government. The men will be weak and weaker. Ang tawag dito yung venerable ability of the woman. Take the culture of men. Become weaker and weaker. Weaker and weaker. Ito po ngayon. Kahit sa politics. Sa, 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 sa universe. Marami ng mga babae ang gusto mag-lead sa gobyerno. Hindi lamang sa judge. Kaya may warning. Don't overpower your protector. At tayo mga lalaki, protector tayo eh. We are the head of the woman. Hindi ibig sabihin na ina-under natin. Ibig sabihin, protector, uh, uh, cares, yung caring, father, provider, yun yung salitang head. In the New Testament, no one, no woman pastor, elders, no message from woman. Pesos Acts 13, all men, this is divine order. Divine order po ito. First Timothy, the church order. Sa First Timothy, alam na alam natin ito, 3.14, di ba? The church order, how you conduct ano, things in the church This is divine truth. Yung conduct. No? Ano ang dapat ninyong ugaliin sa bahay ng Diyos? Na siyang iglesia ng Diyos. How you conduct yourself, ano, themselves or yourself. This is this letter of instruction for the life of the church. Ito po ay instruction ni Paul. Instruction ng Holy Spirit. Para sa buhay at pamumuhay ng iglesia. Sa 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 18 and 9, woman ascending power. Woman ascending power. Yung antithesis yan sa Isaiah chapter 3, verse 20. Yan yung binasa natin kanila. Woman call attention to themselves. Display their wealth. Display their wealth. Kaya sabi, hindi sa mahalagang ginto, Anya, sa presbyterium kundi sa pusong ano, maibigin. Nagpapasakop sa kanilang asawa. Kung tawagan nito, proper clothes, uh, appropriate for worship. Eh, misan, makikita mo, sumasamba, eh, hindi appropriate yung kanilang dress. No? Nakasyort, kaya nga, be submissive. Tatlong beses binanggit ko yun. Why? Always repeated because the reality of the fall done in society today. And in the church, yung pagbaksak po nakikita na natin sa society at doon sa churches. No? Kaya nag, 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 dinidiinan po natin yung principles ng universal and local divine provisions ng Holy Spirit. Okay? Kaya woman... Remain silent. How you conduct yourself in the church. Kaya sabi, call to godliness. Yung salitang entire submissiveness. Entire submissiveness. Yung kabuang pagpapasako. Kaya sabi, gentle is precious to God. Ano? Ano yung mahalaga sa paningin ng Diyos? So, sa 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 16. Let us read. Let us read. First Peter, you know, uh, jump. Chapter 3. Verse ano? Huh? 6. 3, 6. Okay. Tama ba? Okay. First Peter, 16. And then, uh, uh, 16, 20. Sorry. And keep good conscience so that in the things in which you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ may be put shame. Tama ba? First, Tim First Peter 3. Oh, sorry, sorry. First Peter 1.6. First Peter 3.1.6. The same way, you wives, you wives, be submissive to your own husband, not, not to all men. 
to your own husband. So that even if any of them are disobedient to the word. Oh, disobedient to the word. The way be won without a word by the behavior of their wives. As they observe your chaste and respectful behavior. And let not your adornment be merely external. Braiding hair, Isaiah 2, chapter 3. And wearing gold, uh, wearing gold, jewelry, or putting on dresses. But let it be hidden person of the heart with the imperishable quality of a gentle and well, quiet spirit, which is precious in the sight of God. So, malino po yan eh. Galing po yan sa book of Isaiah. So, meron pa po akong 10 minutes. Ano? So, let us uh, go on. No? Kaya nag, nag, uh, nagbabawas na rin po ako ng mga chapter. Yan yung nabasa natin sa First Peter. No? So, makikita natin, be submissive. No? Yung submissiveness. Okay? So, external, hindi. No? Okay, hindi po. Not external, internal. Hindi nagkasala si Adan. Men is in charge to everything. Tayong mga lalaki ang in charge sa lahat ng mga bagay. Alam po natin yan. Men win their woman behavior. Sabi sa First Peter, men will win their woman behavior. Woman has to power to control. Tandaan natin yan. Sana maintindihan po ito ng mga denominations yan. They make life miserable. Katulad nung sa Garden of Eden. Nung pinangunahan eh. Nung hindi nagpasakop eh. Di ba? Naging miserable yung buhay nila. At alam po ba ninyo, ang unang nila lang, sino? Si Aga. Merong priority. There is, ano, a priority. Ang lalaki ang unang nila lang eh. There is a battle going on. Marriage and the churches. To keep the divine order. Man is a protector of woman. Okay? Tandaan po natin yan. Man is a protective. Ngayon, pagka in-overthrow mo yan, abay, miserable ang buhay. Nagiging miserable. Kaya nakikita natin sa society, nakikita natin sa mga pamilya. So let us go on. Eve was deceived. She was disclosed the protection of Adam. Siya mismo ang nag-alis eh. Dinisclose niya yung protection ng lalaki ni Adam. Kaya ang ending, ano, chaos. Ano po? Chaos po. Okay. So, basahin po natin yung 1 Timothy 2.14. Ilang minutes na lang. 1 Timothy 2.14. I am writing these things to you, sabi ni Paul, hoping to come to you before. But in case I am delayed, I write that you may know how ought to conduct himself in the household of, household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and, ano, pillar and support the truth. Okay? Sandali po. Uh, huh? 1 Timothy 2.14.15. Tama ba? Mm-hmm. Sandali po. 1 Timothy 2.14. Ah, ito po. Mali po. Sorry, matanda na. And it was not Adam who was deceived, but the woman being quite deceived fell into transgression. But woman shall be preserved through the bearing of children, the bearing of children, if they continue in faith and love and sanctify with self restrain Anong ibig sabihin? So woman will be saved to childbearing, to take care, develop them, them in faith, the children, in order, holy, high calling, have children, continue in faith. Love, holy, 
praise and God riches. Yan ang rule ng babae. Ano po? Malinaw po yan. Ano? Kaya nga, tinatalakay po natin yan. So, leadership of men began o began in paradise. Chapter 3. Nilinaw po yan eh. Sa 1 Corinthians. Babalikan po natin yung context. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse ano? 1 and 4. 1 Corinthians 3, 1 and 4. Ito po ang banggit. All, and I, and I, brethren, could I speak to you as the, to spiritual men, but as to men of the flesh, as to baby Christ. I give you the milk and drink. Tama ba? Okay. Uh, 14, sorry. 2.14. First Timothy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Two, uh, first Corinthians 3.14. Sorry. I gave you milk and solid food, for you were not yet able to receive it. Indeed, even now, you are not yet able, for you are still fleshly. For since there is jealous strife among you, are you not fleshly? Are you not walking like mere men? For when I say I am poor, so mali atatay dito no sa so, First Corinthians. Okay. So leadership of men began in paradise. No, alam natin yan. Men in charge in the church and also managing the church. No? Kaya makikita natin yung uh, yung relationship ng Jesus sa so the church. Si Jesus ay head of the church. Katulad din ng lalaki, siya ang ulo ng babae, meaning uh, siya yung in charge, siya yung, uh, siya yung protector ng babae, di ba? Kaya sabi rin, nililinis sa pamamagitan ng tubig. Sinasanctified, no? iniingatan. Kaya nga, ang sabi sa babae, working at home, inilalagay ng lalaki ang babae sa safety, safety place do sa bahay. So let us go on. Men and women praying about people and defying one another. Merong head covering to sa kanilang pananalangin. How important in Corinthian society and culture. If man has covering his head, dishonoring God. Kaya nga may belo eh. Nung panahon natin, do sa simbahang katoliko, di ba? Nagkipilo. Paggalang, maintain the symbols of men and women sapagat hindi natin na malalaman kung sino ang lalaki at babae sa panahon natin ngayon. Kaya merong, merong lumabas na salitang unisex eh, di ba? Unisex. Dapat i-display mo kung lalaki ka o babae ka. The way we dress. The way we dress. Pinatutunayan natin na may pagpapasakop tayo sa bawat isa. Yan ay God's design sa chapter 11 ng 1 Corinthians 13 to 7. Woman from men keep this distinction. Pakita nyo? Woman from men keep this, this, this distinction. Distinctive mark to it. The most submissive creature are angels of all creatures. Ephesians chapter 11. Jesus what is doing in the church. Tignan natin yung relationship. Ano ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa church. Sinasanctified, nililinis, diba? binili, inalagaan, minahal. Okay? So, sa Galatians chapter 3, verse 26, kay Kristo, no hierarchy. No. So, here is the testimony of being submissive. Yung pagiging mahabang buko. Kaya nga sabi rin sa binasa natin, men and women created Ano, role. First Corinthians, sa context for eternity, yung church magiging strong, strong culture, strong family, strong community. Kapag pinractice po natin yan, inimplement po natin yan, yung authority and submission, submission ng babae sa lalaki. No? Yan po ang pinag-uusapan natin. So, Sana po, mga kapatid, kaya lumalakas ang gawain ng iglesia dahil sa pagpapasakop ng babae sa lalaki sa loob ng iglesia at sa tahanan at sa society at sa gobyerno. Kaya nga may opposition eh. 
kailangan maintindihan to, din, din ito ng no, mga penis, pe, feminism movement. Ano po? Sa Amerika, talagang uh, alam na alam na alam na alam po natin. Gusto talagang i-overthrow o gusto makipantay ng babae sa lahat. Sa kapangyarihan. Ano po? Sa kapangyarihan. So, sana po, brothers and sisters, hindi rin po ako lumampas sa panahon, ay naunawaan po natin na ang tinalakay natin na ang kahalagahan ng pagpapasakop at kahalagahan ng pagbabawal ng Panginoon sa divine provisions na hindi pwedeng manguna magturo, mangaral ang isang babae sa loob ng church. So, salamat po, brothers and sisters. God bless po. Brother Boy.